stuff ready for my test prep group this afternoon. And it's really easy to do and I know my kids are gonna be really excited. So I wanted to share with you guys what I was doing. Um, the first thing I did was I, whoa. I took all of the um, math because that is the subject that I am teaching for our focus group time. I just took all of the questions off of like the practice exam that the state puts up and I just used like the snipping tool or whatever on my computer to put them all on, you know, one page, however many would fit on a page. And I'm going to cut them up and then put them around the room like the room like task cards. And then I got these basketball Easter baskets from the Dollar Tree. Whoa. Um, how cute are those? They like look like little basketball hoops. And then I have different sized, whoa, different sized basketballs. And I got this idea from Courtney from Miss Curtis's classroom. And basically what I'm gonna do is I am going to tape different numbers and that will be the number of points that each basket is worth. And then I'm gonna tape these to different sections of the whiteboard. So um, the more points will be like the harder to get shots that are up at the top and then the easier ones will be worth less points. And they are going to solve each problem and I'm gonna have all the answers to these with me so I can just quickly check them as they come and check in with me. And if they get it right, then they get to shoot for whichever basket they want to. And I'm gonna have a little clipboard where I keep track of each team's points. And then the winning team will get like a piece of candy or extra recess or something, whatever they want. And um, I thought this would be a really cool way to make test prep a little bit more fun and exciting because it can be kind of daunting. There's a lot of questions. We do it for a long time and then the kids get kind of nervous, especially in third grade. This is their first time ever taking the state test. So um, as much as we try to tell them like, you don't need to be worried about it, just do your best. They still have this anxiety about it. So doing something fun to prep for it and um, get them ready for it, get them, exposed to what it's going to be like is a really good idea and this is a really easy way to make it fun and engaging. Um, I'm going to show you guys what the setup looks like but um, yeah if you want to try that it's super easy and so much fun. I just told my kids that we were going to be doing something with basketball after lunch and they were like what? What? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm like I'm so excited so that is going to be really really fun. All right, that is it my friends. I just have four different baskets. I decided just to go with four and the lowest one is just gonna be worth one point. The middle one is worth three. This one's getting harder, it's worth five and that one's gonna be almost impossible because of the ceiling, unless they have a really good shot, um, is worth 10. And I just hung these up with super sticky duct tape. Um, it looks like they're pretty good to go. And originally I was like, oh man, it's gonna be like that, but. These baskets are awesome and they swivel so I can put them facing forward. So I'm super excited. And then I'm just gonna let them pick if they want the tiny ball, the medium ball, or the large ball. I don't even really know which one would be easiest because I'm bad at sports, but whichever one they think would be best and then they get to shoot. One reason why I really like doing the point system instead of just giving them a point for if they get the question right is because then it won't make the students who are struggling or who take a little bit longer to solve. It's not gonna make them feel like they're behind. They have no idea how many points the other students got. They still have a chance because they could, you know, get one question and get the 10 point basket and another student could get 10 questions and get the one point basket or not get any points. So it's not really about, you know, who's getting the most questions right or who's getting them done the fastest. It kind of takes that out of the equation, no pun intended, and makes it more about just making sure you're solving it correctly so you have the chance to shoot because they're not even gonna be allowed to shoot unless they get the question correct. So I thought that that would be a fun little twist. I'm really excited to show them this. And then I have two more things that I wanna share with you guys about what I do for testing that helps make it a little bit more fun and helps to kind of ease the tension of testing. So I'm gonna share those with you after school today. All right, I wanted to give you guys a little update on how this worked. We did it today for the first time and the kids thought it was the funnest thing in the whole world. But I have one piece of advice. Um, if you are going to do this, I would make a an answer key ahead of time for the questions. I didn't do that and so I thought it'd be able to just be like, oh yeah, that looks right, that doesn't look right as far as what I remember from having the questions or that it'd be easy to just run really quick but they were answering questions so fast that I had to go over to each question and have them show me which one they answered and then solve it and it was a hassle. So um, we're gonna do this again tomorrow because they didn't get to answer all the questions. They only got through like five maybe. 
um, on average. So I'm gonna make an answer key for the questions right now so that tomorrow I have them and then I can just look and say, um, okay, based on the number of questions, so like for this one, this one, I would put three, four, four, one on my answer key and then just put what the answer is supposed to be. Um, some of them are a little bit harder. This one would be easy to do too. Some of them would be a little harder to put the answer, you have to draw something or whatever, but that would just make it so much easier on you as a teacher, where you're not having to run back and forth to look at the questions and then solve them in your head, and it would make for a smoother process. So I would definitely recommend making an answer key. But I do wanna say, besides not having an answer key, that was the only thing that my kids didn't like. I don't even know that the kids didn't like it, I just didn't like it, but it was so much fun, you guys. I put on a little NBA soundtrack on the back where it's like, dun 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 <laughs> But it made it so fun, and the kids had such a good time, and they were walking out the door going, I can't wait to do that tomorrow. So that makes me so excited, and that is a teacher win in my book. All right, excuse the wind blown hair. It's super windy here today. But um, the two other things that I wanted to show you guys were um, these testing notes. So basically, I just print one of these out. They have three different kinds. Um, one says, you've got this. One says, you are unstoppable. And one says, um, kid, you'll move mountains. And it basically has four different spots for people to write notes to them. So there's one from a note from parents, one for a note from teacher, um, one from a note from another grade level teacher. So um, we've done it where we have teachers from in the past. So they get to choose their kinder, first, or second grade teacher. Or if they're new to the school, um, we have them pick like their focus group teacher or the principal or just someone else on campus and then a note from their classmate and I let them pick who they want to get their notes from. I put their name on the back as far as whose note it is going to be and then I fold it in thirds, I send it home to their parents and I send the parents an email saying hey um, to set a good tone for the test to make them feel excited and encouraged um, please write a note and send it back to me and I give them a date, it's usually like a week in advance. And then, um, and then I'll pass it around to other teachers. I'll take a poll from the students to see who they wanna get their note from, from their classmate, and then I will write them a note as well. And then on the morning of the test, I have it waiting on their desk, and it just helps them to feel more relaxed and calm and at peace and get some encouragement on the day that they have their test, especially in third grade, because this is the first time they've ever taken this test. So a lot of them have a lot of anxiety about it, a lot of them get nervous, or they have older siblings who've taken it and have freaked out about it and then have freaked them out about it. So um, it just helps to start it off on a positive note. And then the third and final tip I have for you guys as far as helping set your students up for success with testing, the stuff that has nothing to do with teaching at least, um, is to set up a signup.com page for your parents to donate snacks. Now, I know that not everyone is in an area where parents are able to donate or where you have families that will, but I'm lucky enough that I'm in an area where parents can and do donate items. So I just use signup.com and I put the different items. Um, I'm gonna put a little list right here so you guys can see what kind of items I asked for, but I just have a little snack for them each day. Um, I also get a bucket of licorice, red licorice, and I walk around and have the students um, eat that during the test. I'll just give them like one piece per day. And it's not much, but it's kind of like the notes. It's just a way to kind of encourage them to do their best, have a little treat, um, remind them to work hard. And it's just something that makes it a little easier to swallow. All these puns today, all these puns. That's just the third thing that I like to do to help make testing an easier time for them. Again, third graders get a little anxious and so being able to just walk around and hand them a snack and say, you're doing a great job, keep up the good work, um, and then have just something sweet or salty to munch on just makes it a lot easier. So I've found that they really enjoy that and they've said that they like testing because they get snacks. So I don't know, it's been, been good so far. So I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any other helpful tips, leave them down below so we can all learn from each other. And I hope that this is a wonderful testing season for you guys. If you are someone who has to monitor the test, hang in there, the test will be over soon. If you are actually testing and you're watching this, do your best. Whether you do good or bad, it doesn't matter. You're gonna move on to the next grade. It's gonna be fine. Don't stress yourself out. So just do your best, show us what you know, and that's all you can do. I believe in you and yeah. That's all I got. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.